Hello, welcome to another Great Cow Basic training session. Uh, today we're going to cover um, and uh, this session number five is, is um, the fifth, therefore, and we're going to control some LEDs and we're going to use a software method and we're going to use a fixed method of uh, setting up PWM. Let me try and explain what that is. I have a piece of paper here. Um, pulse width modulation is um, a method of sending a, sig a digital signal um, with a predefined period and a duty cycle. And that duty cycle is the on time, okay? So we have a, let me just see if this works. We have Okay, look. We can generate signals like this, a bit more square than what I've just drawn it. And um, the period is the bottom, the the difference between the start here and the start here, and the duty of the on is this section here, how long it is on. Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate this to you. Okay. Why do you want to do this is because you can encode a message or control the amount of power supplied to electrical devices. Um, those electrical devices can be motor controls or LEDs, as we're going to be showing, and uh, power supplies. Um, we're using one software method and um, one method that's embedded inside of the uh, Pixel AVRs, if, if you're looking at AVRs, um, and why, why they have different why it's worthwhile seeing both is because not every chip has a uh, PWM peripheral built into it. So um, let's have a look okay. at um, the lab yeah. where we left it yesterday. Uh, we left it yesterday like this, where we have um, some LEDs and um, they are sort of attached into here uh, quite merrily. Uh, they were flashing away, or they are flashing away now. There we go. There we go. Right. So. Um, there we go, look, I turned the pot, and that's where we left it yesterday. Okay, and so today what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce you to this little monster. This is an oscilloscope, okay? It's a little portable oscilloscope. I just need to attach up, see how the ground, the zero, and the signal. And I'm going to use this top LED, the green one, um, and you just saw it flash, okay? Now, I'm not going to do any more tidying up than that because we haven't got time. What we're going to do is we are going to program it so that the green LED generates a signal. And that signal, okay, will look like, not that, it will look like this. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? So what we're going to do in the thin right, we're just going to take um, the head of program that we had yesterday and uh, we're just going to paste it into here and we're going to save that as S5A, which is, oh no, T5A, how about that? Um, so the first one we're going to do is called, is going to be a software. So what we're going to do is go into the help. So into the help, and then I'll switch to my desktop so that you can see that. It won't work because this port here is incorrect. We, and we do need, to, if you look through the help, you need to set a, a constant called PWM out one. Okay. Um, we just need to set that to our LED one. Okay. And um, fortunate, fortunately for us, look, it's going to set the PWM out, which is the command that we're using. Okay. And we're going to read it in from our potentiometer that we had set yesterday. So if I program that, we might see something. Oh look, down in my oscilloscope, I can see it. Now I'm going to control the oscilloscope, 
okay, through some software. And you can just see my desktop for a second, right? So that you can see when I um, change things on the screen here, um, you get to see them on the in your display, in your demonstration display, okay? Now, um, what is key about this is if I come, th come through and change the potentiometer on the screwdriver, you will see that the duty changes. Now, you might not believe me, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna change, zoom in it, there we go, there we go. Hopefully that will show you, there we go. Um, and remember, this is what I'm changing. I'm changing that. I'm changing the duty cycle. Look at that. Now, if you look at the LED here, green LED, it gets brighter and dimmer. I'm controlling the LED brightness through the level of power, exactly as I described it earlier on. And that's great. But this is software. So the moment the command PWM out, PWM out is not uh, in your in your program it will stop let me prove that to you if i just put a wait of five seconds on it no matter what that led whatever that potential is set to it only sets it and then it goes look at the scope it's gone off for five seconds comes on and you can see that that is software so let's just do it in hardware now okay again Take a copy of the program, create a new program, save it as training 5B. Okay, so let's go back into the help. In a number of uh, different chips, we have different channels. We have up to five I'm aware of. No, maybe seven in some of them. But this one's only got two. And they're called number one and number two. So if I just take that one command there and do, put it in here, do, and put a do loop, do forever loop there, this would actually power up on some chips, but not every chip. If your chip is a PPS chip, you need to do the following. You need to open up the PPS tool, which I've just done. You need, oops, you need to select this CCP1. CCP1 is a channel for PWM we're going to configure. And you attach it to RA1, which is our um, LED. In actual fact, we'll attach it to all the LEDs, just to prove it to you. Uh, now, we can't set it on... We cannot add it to three. That was a mistake by me, so clear that down. RA1 is our first LED. That's our second LED. That's our third LED. And that's our fourth LED. And we're going to copy that into our cut and paste buffer. The moment I've got it in my cut and paste buffer, I can come into my program. I like to put it just after the option explicit. And put it in there so what i've done i've attached this pwm module that's part of a ccp okay and attached it to the leds okay as i said i made it wrong i thought i did you know oh that should be four shouldn't it i must have hit it wrong there i've manually edited that never ever manually edit this file just go recreate it but i've done it okay so what have we got Oh, look, we've got some LEDs that are on. All four are on continually. But all I've done is put one command in. How's it doing that? Let's just come into the um, my desktop just to show you what I'm
we have a square wave down here so it's doing something I'll explain how it does that and then the meter I'm just going to measure the frequency for you the frequency is 38 why because PWM has a setup it has a set of defaults and those defaults uh, are the following um, and they're in the help okay so you don't have to struggle okay um, you can then change them so if we look at the help you'll see that this goes from 38 to 10 instantly and if we look at the um, if we look at the uh, oscilloscope we can see something's happened in here because the frequency has changed because we're running a bit slower um, there we go now what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to change the um, I'm going to change the duty to show you the duty change. I will set it to 10% because that's very obvious then. Okay. And you'll see that the signal changes and so does the LED brightness. Look at that. Now this is a fixed frequency. This is fixed. So you can't change it in your program, but it's running in the background the whole time, which is the beauty of it. And so if I set that to 95% you will see that LED get brighter and brighter as I'm changing it but it's static I can't change it anymore all I can do is turn it on and off okay so if I wanted to turn it on and off oh did I put 95 in it I did yeah I'm going to change that to back to 50 so we can see it 60 PWM on I want to get this finished here wait two seconds and then we've got another command PWM off okay and it will then turn the LED on for two seconds and then turn the pulse width modulation off for two seconds on and off let's recap we can do it in software we can do it in a, in a module that's called CCP1 PWM and we can set the frequency to whatever we want you know we did it here frequency of 10 frequency of 40 I can hit it you might not believe that it's doing it but let's just go into the meter and see what it's doing here we go you might not be able to see it exactly well wait a minute I can zoom in on that I believe I can zoom in on that there we go 40 so whatever I put in my source code I get down on the and you can see it's going on and off every three seconds and if you notice I haven't spotted that all four LEDs are coming on because I can now control four outputs with a PPS chip okay so today I wanted to show you software and some a static hardware done that's let's call that a wrap